Good morning folks, we're going to start with the gas leak off the UK coast. Greenpeace has released this footage of the gas. It's pretty bad. Reuters is reporting that safety checks are up to a year behind at nearly all offshore drilling stations in the region and demand has stretched resources thin. Those tornadoes in Texas a few days ago were captured in 3D. We'll put this link below if you're interested. There was a power outage in England yesterday due to severe weather. A French nuclear station caught fire yesterday, but as you can imagine, officials claim there is no danger. Extreme winds and hail was bad enough to kill a dozen people and collapse walls near Buenos Aires. You may remember we had a minor CME impact yesterday, and although there was no geomagnetic storm, KP only hit four as you see here, but the resonance has endured here on the induction magnetometer. We had a slight uptick on the cosmic rays display. You can see the red above the blue here indicating cosmic radiation absorption. And these new signets, the Ovation Prime. This morning it's quiet, that's on the left, and yesterday's impact is showing here on the right. You may remember yesterday I said that this spot here was Beta Gamma due to its magnetic complexity. No one now agrees, and while we haven't seen any big flares, a small sea flare yesterday produced a relevant CME. You can see that here on the region in question. You can uh, watch the eruption happen uh, from this little region. It's actually a little easier to see in the green. You can see on SOHO a few potential ejections are actually coming out of the sun at that time. On Stereo B with the Earth off to the right you can see eject ahead of our way and you can see the power of this eject on Stereo A with the Earth to the left even with some of the data missing. Don't forget about our earthquake watch due to lunar, solar, and planetary alignments. Take that up a notch this weekend and next week with the space weather on the way. Lastly folks, eyes open for this. The USGS and Wildlife Services up in Alaska will issue a press release today about animal sickness spreading from those ring seals to both bears and walruses now. This started with Mad Dog Mona forwarding me an email she received from them, which led me to call their offices. And I really will need, uh, want to acknowledge Chad J. and George Derner at USGS for being so helpful and agreeing to release a statement. I don't know if they planned this press release or we put them on the spot, but they were very professional and a pleasure to speak with. And thanks to all of you who send us info. It is nice knowing you are all awake. Be safe, everyone.